So welcome to question 15. Um, this is a, a question about a pipe. Um, so here's our pipe. And it's subjected to a hoop stress of 150 megapascals, subjected to an axial stress of 30 megapascals, and a hoop axial shear stress of 80 megapascals. So if we write it down, we've got 150, 30, 80, 80. And actually, if we were going r theta z, we need to remember th it's really life is really 3D. So if we're going r theta z, r theta z, uh, that would be our stress tensor. Um, so uh, the question then asks, uh, write down the stress matrix. We've done that. Find the principal stresses of maximum shear stress. Um, and um, what angle is the hoop stress of the hoop axis of the tube to the maximum principal stress? And write down the hydrostatic stress. Well, the hydrostatic stress we can write down um, immediately. Well, let's do it at the end. Let's do it at the end. So, first off, we need to uh, do a Mohr circle. We can do a Mohr circle because it's 2D um, to find uh, the principal stresses. So, um, if we do a Mohr circle. We'll have a Mohr circle between 150, comma 80, which will be uh, it's positive shear stress. So we go for the bigger one being down here, and 30, comma 80, and we draw a circle in between. This is our sigma axis. That's our tor axis. The centre will be at the average of 150 and 30, so you add the two up. 180 divided by 2, you've got 90. That's the centre. Um, and if you want to know the radius of Mohr's circle, then we've got 80. This is now 60. So it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and that's 100 megapascals. Um, and uh, the radius is therefore 100 MPa. So the maximum shear stress is 190, 100. So uh, the question asked us to find um, the principal stresses. So the principal stresses are 90 plus minus 100. So that's 190 and minus 10. So we need to move the vertical axis to restore the zero to our diagram. So the principal stresses principal stresses are 90 plus or minus 100 MPa. The maximum shear stress is 100 MPa, which is the radius of Mohr's circle. What's the angle to the hoop axis? Well, the hoop axis was the 150. So the angle to the maximum principal stress axis. That's 2 theta. And we can say that tan 2 theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, 80 over 60, which is 4 thirds. We get a calculator. Then if I do inverse tan of 4 thirds, and I get 2 theta is 53.1 degrees and theta is equal to 26.6 degrees which is the angle between the hoop axis and the 190 MPa principal stress axis and finally, we need to write down the hydrostatic stress. And the hydrostatic stress is a third of the trace of the stress state. So we can use whichever stress state we like. So that's um, 150 plus 30 plus naught in the original one. So that's 180 divided by 3, which is equal to 60 MPa. And if I did that for 190 and minus 10, I'd also have 180 divided by 3. I also get 60 MPa because the trace is invariant of the stress matrix. 
And that's question 15.